So it's all cooled down. Uh, it's time to get uh, this model finished. I'm really pleased with it. You know, some bits I think I could do better next time, but I think I'm pretty pleased. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got to take it off the area, but we've got to accept that these things, our big boulders, aren't going to be attached to anything anymore. They're not going to be stuck, so I'm just going to gather them, including our entrance stone. I'm just going to place them here. doesn't matter what order they're in, they can just stay there. And now I'm just going to pick up my greaseproof paper and I'm going to take it off the... Oh, one of my stones actually fell in there. Promise to clean that up later. So I'll just put this guy up here. Actually, I don't need to move that. Take this away too. I can see that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our our template, template, and we're going to uh, mark it onto a piece of card. Uh, now I happen to have saved uh, the base of a pizza, so it's a circle. I think my model will look really cool circle, but it doesn't matter. Any piece of card you want, it just needs to be big enough to fit on this. And you just need to place it on and make sure, using your finger, just lean down to make sure all of these black dots are on top of card. You don't want any of them off the card. It needs to be in the as middle as possible. And then just get a, a biro or a pen or anything like that, and a biro or a pencil. And you're just gonna make a little hole into the cardboard in the middle of all of these circles. Good big hole, because this is where our, we're gonna be gluing stuff on. So I put a little hole for each one of those. And before I even move it, don't forget the entrance stone. And then just a little dot here at the end and at each of the edges so that we know where we have to place our model. So I put four dots for our model. And once I take that off, <coughs> you can see the little dots where, where everything is. So we can just leave that to one side, but we're, first job is gonna to be to paint that. What to color it? So um, you can easily use coloring pencils like this and color it. Browns and earths. I mean, it's the, it's it's the outdoors. But I'm going to use some paints. Uh, I happen to have paints, so I've got some kitchen roll there in case I you know, when I make a mistake. I'm going to use some brown. Just to, oh, probably use too much brown there, and some green. And I get one of my bigger, one of my paintbrushes. Just got a paintbrush here. I got my water. I'm just gonna mix a tiny bit of brown into that so it's a bit earthy. And I'm just gonna paint this. Sort of made it quite snotty there, but that's all right. Sort of handy that the brown of the cardboard's there already anyway, because it, um, it can be brown and earthy already. I'm gonna need more paint. We were doing it this uh, this at camp. We'd actually have mixed a little bit of sandpaper in with it, um, not sandpaper, a bit of um, sawdust, and that makes it a cool texture. So that's always a fun way to do it. it looks like it actual grass. Then anyone who's made models of this before, we know we did it. But if we ever do this on, a, on one of our camps, we'll use that because we have it. So. Okay, that's our base done. Leave that out of the way to dry. Now, now our model. So 
I'm going to start off our model. I'm going to place it like that. And this part here, remember that's the mound of stones because this isn't the finished model. We're going to put our cover on it. So this is like the inside of the monument. So it's going to be a mixture of browns and green and gray because there's stones in there, there's mud in there, there's grass in there. So again, you can, you can use color in pencils, which, which works perfectly well, but takes a good bit of time, or I'm gonna use my paints. So I'm just gonna get a bit of gray. There's a bit of black paint there. Oh, that'll be very dark. I wanna be careful about that one. Maybe this is. Oh, well, that's almost silver. I'm gonna mix those in together and just make a nice sort of gray. And I'm just going to use a different brush. I'm going to put a little bit of that in there and start painting it like that. I'm not going to paint it all. I'm just putting flecks on because it needs to be a bit sort of higgly piggly. Now I'm going to mix in green. And make sure not to color the curb stones by mistake, so don't go all the way to the edge. I'm gonna put a bit of brown in there. That's it, now it's getting there. Sort of needs to look like a building site because essentially this is what it is under here, building site. Remember our model is halfway, it's, it's the, this inside part of the model is pretending that it's when the model was being built. Again, make sure not to paint your lintel stones there. We're just gonna paint the model part. So anyway, it's, it's exactly how I wanted all different colors, sort of model D colors. Good, I'm pleased with that. Okay. Now the next bit is our gray stones and these are the curb stones all the way around. I'm gonna use quite a thin brush for this. But it's okay, any brush. And again, remember guys, if you don't have it, you can use your, your gray pencils. Uh, let's see, do I have a gray pencil there? And you can just color them in like that, okay? It takes an awful long time, but it can be done and it'll look really well. But these ones are sort of a, I have to make a gray color here. So it can't be too dark, but I'm gonna use a gray paint. And I'm just gonna paint them all the way around. I think I made them a bit too dark. And the handy thing about leaving it on the greaseproof paper is you can sort of move the whole model around without having to touch it. I'm very glad I don't have 27 or 97 of these to paint. Or, and all the inside ones as well. This is quite a job. Of course, in the Stone Age, they didn't need to paint these rocks. This is the color they were. They were gray rocks. But as we're going to learn in another session, they did decorate them. Not all of them at Newgrange, but they did decorate a lot of them. That's a different story for a different day. They put a lot of effort into these monuments. It's incredible what they did. so long ago and remember they didn't even have horses or that the wheel hadn't come to Ireland yet.
an endless string article. And these ones, but of course I've got to do the orthostats and the lentils. Although I don't think I'll be able to paint the orthostats. Just these ones. The ones at the end. So, so now we're painting, show sure, we're painting the, the lentil stones here. And then where we can, we've got to try and paint these ones too. Uh oh, one of my stones nearly fell off. If a stone's gonna fall off, don't worry about it. We can glue it on later. Uh oh, that's okay. It means I can reach in and get more of the other stones. careful doing it is if we turn it upside down we can actually paint the insides of the passage like this and again don't worry I just knock one of my lintel stones off but don't worry we can glue that back on but we better wait until the paint's dry to do that Two of mine have fallen off. I'm just going to keep them, I'm going to finish painting them, and then I'm just going to leave them to dry. Okay. Now the last thing is a little bit more tricky. It's all, out. I'm going to leave those at the front so I don't mind so It's all of our standing stones need to be painted as well. All those little stones need to be painted grey of course, because they're grey wackies. Mostly grey wackies. I've seen some other types of stone there. But we're mostly going to paint them grey. And I think I'm just going to accept that my fingers are going to get messy here. And I can clean them up afterwards, but just paint them all all over. Because remember the marks on the cardboard will show us where, where we need to put them. And remember you can paint these just with pencils as well. Coloring pencils or crayons or anything you like. It's just obviously paint brushes is much quicker if you have them. This is the big one, the main stone, which has the most incredible art on it, which New Grange is very famous for, but again, we'll talk about that another time. And we might even make, put decorations on it. We can work on this model again in another class. Nearly done. You can also try and color these with um, markers, but I think that pencils actually work the best if you don't have paints. Paints are the easiest, probably the best, the most versatile, because you can, I like the thing about paints is you can mix your colors up and make everyone a little bit different. Two more. No, no, I have another two over there. Four more.
Now, let's see if there's any more touching up to be done. I'm pretty pleased with the way this has turned out, to be honest with you. I think this could get on the exhibit in Brunaboing. Um, now we'll just wait for it to, to dry. So we're back. It's all dried. But I forgot something last time and I only realized after I'd stopped recording. Um, the roof box, uh, the corbelled roof, that also needs to be painted just grey like the curbstones. So paint it and then let it dry and, uh, and then we can get to work with the final part to complete our model. So, we got our base and this is tricky but um, I can still see where I marked it. it. Wasn't as easy as I thought it would be, but um, there's the three stones, which are, it's handy if you have this one still here, there's the, those three stones are these three here. So I can still, uh, I can still see those three there, one, two, three, and that's the, the uh, entrance stone there. So I'm gonna pick up my model very gently and I'm going to place it down. I'm going to look, use this as a reference, and I can see the stones around it. So that's where it's going to go. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So I've got PVA glue, just poured some out there, and I'm going to use my brush. So the first thing we're going to do is put a lot of glue on the base of our model here, because it's going to go down lots and lots of glue. Gonna sit down there. And now the next one I'm gonna do is my entrance stone. So one of the one of the sides of it should be quite flat because that's the bit that was on that you press down onto the paper. So that's the bit you gotta look for. My entrance stone there. My entrance stone's really big. Um, and now we just need to put down a stone at each of the where we have a dot, so that we have our stones in the right position. Remember each time, look for the flattest part. And it doesn't matter which order you put in the stones, because remember, it's just a model. I'm gonna need more glue. I'm not happy with the amount of glue I put on that. Don't be too shy with the glue. So not only have you got your little dots here, you've also got um, your sheet, your template sheet here. So that can be a guide for you as well. So you know where to look out for the, the little Dots, so I know there should be one in there as well. And now, once I knew it was there, I was able to see it. We think there are probably more stones in there as well. So where have I missed two? There's two for this side I need to get. Last one. Now, do you remember that two of my lintel stones fell off? I'm just gonna paint those. Or not paint, I'm gonna glue that, stick that on there.
a little bit tricky. Maybe I have it the wrong way around. There, I have it the wrong way around. That's one. This one's here. There we go. So that's all the gluing we need to do. And now I just need to put my coral roof on. Roof. And the last thing that we made earlier, now some of you will have made it uh, without this, and that'll work because you'll have your thing here, but mine's with that one. So that's what goes on top there. So that is my new Grange. So why don't we get a little step out of the way and take our camera and we can do a, a fly. Oops. Brian. Let's it a little bit that way. There we go. Here's all the standing stone right? And now when we take it off. We can see inside and then we can also take off the roof box and see inside into the chamber. Isn't that cool? Well, I hope you enjoyed making your model. Uh, in our net, one of our uh, workshops coming up soon, we're going to talk about the light box and what this monument was for and all the decoration and the artwork they used to do on the, on the monument, uh, on all the stones. So looking forward to doing that with you.